Imagine an asteroid wandering through the infinite stretches of space. Now imagine this space rock drifting closer to Earth, where our planet's gravity pulls it into a brief dance, turning it into a temporary moon. For just a short time, it will orbit around us before breaking free to continue its journey through the cosmos. This is the story of asteroid 2024 PT5, a fascinating visitor that will become Earth's newest mini-moon for 56 days, starting in late September 2024. So what makes this asteroid so remarkable? How was it discovered? And more importantly, what can this fleeting celestial event teach us about the mysteries of our solar system? Before we explore the details, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for regular space updates and discoveries. Asteroid 2024 PT5 was discovered in August by the ATLAS telescope in South Africa. Interestingly, this is the same telescope responsible for spotting Comet A3 Atlas, which is expected to pass by Earth soon and might become one of the brightest comets ever visible to the naked eye. Atlas, an advanced system designed to spot asteroids that could potentially threaten Earth, keeps a vigilant watch on the sky. 2024 PT5 is relatively small, about 10 meters 33 feet, in diameter, a mere speck by cosmic standards, yet intriguing enough to warrant attention. Fortunately, PT5 poses no danger to Earth. Instead, it will become a brief satellite, a mini-moon, orbiting our planet before it moves on to continue its eternal path around the Sun. What makes PT-5 particularly intriguing is both its size and its unique trajectory. At just 10 meters wide, it's far smaller than the massive asteroids that usually grab headlines. But its small size is precisely what makes it more vulnerable to being temporarily captured by Earth's gravity, giving it the rare chance to become a mini-moon. Scientists believe that asteroid PT-5 originates from the Arjuna group, a collection of small asteroids whose orbits around the Sun are very similar to Earth's. These asteroids are characterized by their stable, low-inclination orbits, which allow them to have repeated gravitational interactions with our planet. This interaction creates what is known as a one-to-one -one mean motion resonance, meaning their orbital period is synchronized with Earth's. Under the right conditions, this resonance allows them to be temporarily pulled into Earth's gravitational field, making them short-term companions. The process of an asteroid becoming a mini-moon is a delicate balancing act, a gravitational dance between the object's speed and the pull of Earth. Earth's gravitational pull takes over the motion of an asteroid when it crosses a specific region in space close to our planet. If the asteroid's speed and trajectory align perfectly, it becomes temporarily trapped by Earth's gravity, beginning a brief orbit around us. For asteroid 2024 PT5, predictions indicate that Earth's gravity will capture it on September 29, 2024. During this time, PT5 will complete a single loop around the planet before escaping Earth's orbit and resuming its path around the Sun, departing on November 25, 2024. Unlike our moon, which follows a stable circular orbit, many moons like PT5 tend to have highly elliptical orbits, meaning their path is stretched out and more irregular. This is part of why their stay with Earth is so short and unpredictable. Though many moons might seem rare, Earth has had a few similar visitors in the past. These brief cosmic companions come and go, offering unique opportunities for scientists to study the dynamic relationships between small asteroids and Earth's gravity. One of the most well-known examples of a mini-moon is 2006 RH-120, a small asteroid that orbited Earth from 2006 to 2007. This mini-moon, measuring between 3 and 6 meters in diameter, stayed within Earth's gravitational influence for about a year. Its prolonged presence gave astronomers a rare opportunity to study a small near-Earth object, NEO, in real time, enhancing our understanding of such interactions. Another more recent mini-moon was 2020 CD3, which was captured by Earth's gravity in 2018 and remained in orbit until 2020. This asteroid provided invaluable data that helped refine models of how small celestial objects interact with Earth's gravitational pull. Both of these examples illustrate the potential scientific value of tracking and studying mini-moons like PT5. 
Planetary defense researchers are particularly interested in these types of objects, especially near-Earth asteroids, NEAs, that could pose a significant threat to the planet. Their primary focus is on identifying asteroids that are at least 460 feet, 140 meters, across, large enough to obliterate an entire city upon impact. To date, scientists have discovered about 11,000 of these potentially hazardous asteroids, but they estimate that there are still around 25,000 left to find. Even more worrisome is the presence of millions of smaller asteroids, whose locations remain unknown. While these smaller objects might not cause global devastation, they could still inflict severe local damage if they were to impact Earth. Studying many moons like 2024 PT5 could offer insights into tracking and predicting the movements of these smaller asteroids, aiding in planetary defense efforts. Even though smaller asteroids might not cause global devastation, they could still lead to widespread damage and casualties if they impacted a populated area. That's why the brief visit of asteroid 2024 PT5 is significant. It offers more than just an interesting cosmic event. It could help us answer a long-standing mystery about the Martian moons, Phobos and Deimos. These two small, irregularly shaped moons have puzzled scientists for decades due to their unusual characteristics, such as their tiny size and odd orbits. One of the leading theories is that Phobos and Deimos might actually be captured asteroids from the asteroid belt, or possibly remnants of larger bodies that once orbited Mars. Both moons bear a striking resemblance to the rocky bodies found in the asteroid belt, particularly in their irregular shapes and heavily cratered surfaces. Their composition also appears more similar to carbon-rich asteroids than to the material Mars is composed of. If Phobos and Deimos were captured asteroids, their orbits would likely be more irregular, reflecting the chaotic nature of being pulled into Mars's gravity. However, both moons have relatively circular orbits, which complicates the capture theory. An alternative theory suggests that Mars may have experienced a massive impact in the distant past, ejecting debris into orbit around the planet. Over time, this debris could have coalesced to form Phobos and Deimos. Studying objects like PT-5, which also has an asteroid-like origin and a temporary orbit, could provide key insights into how celestial bodies interact with planetary gravity shedding light on how Mars ended up with its two curious companions. This process mirrors the way Earth's moon is believed to have formed, except Mars's moons, Phobos and Deimos, are much smaller and far less uniform in appearance. By studying temporary mini-moons like 2024 PT5, scientists can gather essential insights into the mechanics of gravitational capture how objects like asteroids can be pulled into a planet's orbit under specific conditions. Understanding the dynamics behind these mini-moons helps researchers model how Mars may have captured Phobos and Deimos, if that theory is correct. Unfortunately, 2024 PT5 will be too dim to observe with the naked eye or even with typical amateur telescopes and binoculars. Only professional astronomers using large telescopes at least 30 inches in diameter, will have the capability to study it. However, while PT-5 might be out of sight for most, there's another cosmic visitor arriving soon that will certainly light up the sky. Comet C 2023A3, Suchinshan Atlas. Discovered in January 2023, while it was still between the orbits of Jupiter and Saturn, this comet has captured the attention of skywatchers worldwide. After traveling over a billion kilometers toward the inner solar system, it's set to provide a spectacular display in the first half of October. In just 20 months, Comet A3 has become one of the most anticipated celestial events of the year. The comet will make its closest approach to the Sun on September 27th, followed by its nearest pass by Earth on October 12th. Experts are buzzing with excitement predicting that this brilliant visitor will be easily visible to the naked eye. What's even more thrilling is that recent calculations suggest a phenomenon called forward scattering may cause a dramatic surge in brightness on October 9th as the comet passes between Earth and the Sun. This could cause Comet A3 to reach a magnitude of negative 4, making it brighter than any star or planet in the October sky. A truly unforgettable cosmic spectacle. 
Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.